Well, hello everybody, and welcome back. Uh, it's a long weekend here, and it's raining, so no fishing. However, I have gotten a tip recently that uh, our local dollar store sells some pretty nice fishing gear. So I'm gonna go for a hunt, see what I can find, and uh, take you guys along with me. Let's go. Okay, everybody, we are back. Uh, I managed to get some stuff, all right? So I went to a few dollar amas, actually. And uh, some had some, some okay selection and some were pretty bad. Um, and this is kind of what you're gonna run into if you're going after these, uh, these bargain, bargain tackle finds. So before I get into what I found today, I'll talk, touch on some stuff that I used uh, earlier in the season that I picked up from Dollarama. So when I first heard that Dollarama you know, stocked fishing stuff, I had to go out and check. And I picked up a few things just to see what the quality was like. So I'll start off with showing something, and this was all back in the spring. You know, you have these, these boot tail kind of doodads in a weird color. This is something you'll notice, a lot of the stuff's in weird colors at these dollar Dollaramas. These boot tail things, they're junk. It, it's not much motion at all. Um, if you throw on an underspin, maybe you can kind of get some action out of it. But then that's the underspin doing the trick, so I wouldn't recommend. Now uh, these flukes. It's a fluke, not bad, but you can get zoom super flukes, dirt cheap, and those are really good if you're gonna gonna want to fish a fluke. I would recommend those. So, both of those aren't really worth your purchase. Now, frogs I've purchased before from the dollar store as well, and uh, you know you're getting these for three fifty, and for three fifty they're not great. They they pick up a lot of water, right? And you're constantly squeezing the water out of them, kind of annoying, but they're not terrible. So if you're really balling on a budget, I mean, you can go for them. Senkos, I was actually really excited to throw these. I figured a Senko, you can't go wrong with. It's pretty easy not to mess up. Um, however, like, I mean, these are cheap. Very, very cheap. They have this scent on them that is just terrible. And I mean, it's like a he kind of a, it's a really heavy plastic, but not that durable. And even in storage, I've kind of messed up the tail on these. Um, you know, it'll last you a few catches, but I've had them ripped apart just on the hook even. Uh, not a great purchase. You're going to notice when I go through kind of what I was, what I was finding today, um, a lot of this, this brand, this, this Mako, Mako brand, that's, that's Dollarama's brand of stuff. And I recommend staying away from it. Hooks you can get away with, right? Hooks aren't going to be the worst. They're going to bend on you a bit, but for the little stuff like around in ponds and rivers, you can kind of get away with them. But you're better off just buying that stuff, you know, from a genuine brand. Now, as for what I found today, um, I did all right. I did all right. So, as you can see, like, people are finding a lot better stuff. Those chatter baits, I mean, that would be, that would be incredible. That's the main thing I was hunting for, is that and some nice young, young plastics. Uh, I did find some young plastics, just little grubs and didn't go for them because they were these odd colors and that's kind of the problem is i think what happens is dollar ammo just pick up the, the dead stock from other stores you know it's the end of the season now so that's when you're going to find the, the name brand stuff but weird colors and shapes and sizes that you know they're kind of odd so they just they, they didn't sell i guess that's what i think happens but sometimes you can find a diamond in the diamond in the rough so i'll show you what we got so you know, first stop here, there's a lot of different uh, kind of swim baits. Uh, you got paddle tail, curly tail, all the dollar M brand. Um, you know, spoons. Uh, Mimic Minnow Critter Craw was kind of cool. I thought about picking it up. There was only one left. Uh, I decided against it. And you know, this is all that dollar M brand stuff. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, these jigs are all right. So first things first, you know, the thing that caught my eye the most was the Z-Man here, the GOAT, these are called. Um, you know, kind of like a, tra a jig trailer or a, uh, well, a chatterbait trailer. I was hoping I could get a complete chatterbait setup going for the spring. Um, but, so, you know, you can definitely tell it's a genuine Z-Man product. I mean, the, the, the plastic stretchy as ever. There's not really any defects. Um, and it's a good looking bait. I'll have to give it a try on something. Uh, and all they have was white. So this is what I mean. Like something like this in a darker color, I think would make more sense just for what I would use it for. But, uh, you know, I'll pick up a white one. 
these weren't a great deal. None of this stuff's a huge deal because the dollar store in Canada here is uh, not a dollar store. It's like a dollar and up. So uh, these came up to, I think, $4. So these came up to $4.50 actually. And you're getting a bit of a discount compared to if you were buying them new from, uh, you know, a, a reputable tackle website, I guess. So not bad, not bad. Worth the drive, I guess, if you're going out that way. So another thing that caught my eye at that particular dollar store were, uh, you know, these little jigs here, these quarter ounce swim stalker jigs. Um, and I don't throw jigs much, but a quarter ounce, you know, nice little finesse kind of deal. Might be decent enough with a pair with a nice trailer. Uh, and these are these are Callens brand. I never actually heard of this brand, but I looked them up just quickly in the store, uh, and they sell at Carl's Tackle. These went for four dollars, and overall, I think that's a decent price for what they are Canadian. Um, and you're getting a little bit of a discount compared to if you were buying them at a regular tackle shop. So, not bad, not bad. I would recommend these. So far, I haven't used them yet but it looks good enough quality stuff. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, it's not bad. You get a nice, uh, you know, weed guard there. The hook seems pretty stock, pretty, uh, you know, pretty heavy, pretty good. Uh, you know, everything looks pretty good quality. So it's definitely like a genuine, you know, bait product, tackle, tackle product. Uh, so I think that's a great buy. And uh, I think it's worth picking up if you're out at a dollar am anytime soon. So I wasn't done there. We got we did all right at the first one. I was kind of excited. I was feeling good about it, and I thought, you know what? Let's go for a couple more. So I hit the second one, and that's just how that went. So this one had a lot more Northland tackle stuff. Uh, these ripping minnows look kind of neat. Uh, I decided to pass on those. Uh, you know, these eagle claw tackle is all pretty good. I do recommend that. Uh, here's some yum baits, just grubs. You know, I don't know. Uh, more swim baits, different kind of stuff. Eh, it's all that Dollar Amma brand. These were definitely the find of the day. Uh, bobbers, can't go wrong there. And then once again, look at that. I came away with one item from here. Uh, I almost went for the uh, Ripple Shad that they had. It looked kind of neat, but I don't know if I'm going to throw that much. They had the Critter Cross uh, and a lot of Northland tackle stuff, which is cheap as, our, as it is. So you're not getting a huge deal if you buy it from here. It is what it is. However, I did pick up Z-Man Streaks in a 3.75 inch. Uh, these look pretty juicy. I'm pretty excited for these. Uh, I've been getting into throwing these like minnow style baits on, uh, you know, just on a finesse jig, lightweight jig, um, and these look pretty good. They're pretty nice, nice color, and that's what I mean. The only color they had was this, which is a pretty normal one. So. I'm okay with that, um, and I'm excited to throw these soon. So we went to a couple of other dollar ammos, and I'll show you the, the, the preview of what I found the last one here. Uh, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. So as you can see, uh, you know more of the Senkos, more of those soft uh, swim baits. Um, this one had a bit more selection. Uh, you know they have those jigs again, more paddle tail swim baits, curly tail swim baits. These look kind of cool. So, hit or miss, right? Hit or miss on the colors, hit or miss on the actual baits themselves, what you'll find. It's worth the hunt if you got them in your area. Um, you know, you, you never know what you might find. And especially with inflation and all that, you know, you gotta try and find those deals. So I say go for it. I had lots of fun doing this. If you wanna see more of these kind of, uh, you know, bargain and uh, bait hunt videos, uh, you know, just leave a comment, let me know how you liked it. And I will uh, see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye.